Solder is a material that's used to join metals, soft metals such as copper, gold, and silver. In electronics, we're mostly concerned with copper. Uh, most commonly, we're using eutectic solder, which is a combination of tin and lead. Uh, this is eutectic solder. This is 63% tin, 37% lead. And this is made with a formulation that has a very minimum melting point for this combination of metals. The melting point is something around 360 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a very low temperature. It's something that we can easily achieve with a soldering iron. There's some slightly different formulations of solder that are commonly encountered in electronics. A non-eutectic solder, such as 6040, which is 60% tin and 40% lead, has a slightly higher melting point, something around 370 degrees Fahrenheit. And it also has a range of temperatures where the solid and the liquid tend to coexist together. And so you can form a, a kind of pasty substance as it cools. It's often useful for shaping the solder. And you can see that solder is very flexible. This is a property known as ductility. And like the metals that it's used to join with, such as copper, gold, and silver, the ductility allows the metals to interpenetrate one another when the solder is melted. Solder is very dense. It's a very uh, heavy material, mostly because of its large lead content. Solder comes in a number of different gauges or, or wire diameters. This is a very heavy gauge here, smaller, smaller still. And finally, some very fine solder, which can be useful for very delicate work such as surface mount devices. In recent years, uh, there's been a concern that the amount of lead in solder is, is hazardous to the environment, and there's been a drive to reduce that through the Reduction of Hazardous Substances, ROHS, program. And with that, we've, we have uh, lead-free solder to discuss. This is a formulation that has three different metals instead of two. This has tin, silver, and copper. It's mostly tin, but it does have a low melting point, and you can use this type of solder with common electronics using low temperature soldering irons. Lead-free solder um, has a higher melting point, which makes it a little bit more difficult to work with. It's also a relatively new material, and, and most people are unfamiliar with its properties. And so, lead solder happens to be the most common type of solder in use today, although that trend is changing. Music